is it sheen or shine? Whatever it is, are they really plus size friendly and how accurate is their plus size sizing? Let's find out. Okay, so if you have not been here before, my name is Haley, I am a travel blogger. I dabble into plus size fashion because when I travel, I like to look good. So if you are new, please subscribe and don't forget to follow over here on social media. Is it sheen or is it shine? Like I said, I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to pick up a couple new pieces for my upcoming cruise. So, <laughs> that came out too much slower than I intended it to. Anyways, there's more. All right. I got a variety of things, mostly sundresses, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so first off, we're not gonna judge that I'm wearing a turquoise blue cotton sports bra. It's busy today. But um, I have to say this first number I'm really excited about. It's this pretty shade of yellow. Now, most of the stuff that I pick, I try to pick materials that had some stretch to them because I saw some of the sizing that she had said like a 4X was a size 20 and um, we all know that's not true. I don't know what my bangs are doing today. I'm getting my hair done. We'll fix this. But anyways, I'm kind of loving this. So this is a stretch top, peasanty, flowy, like super pretty. Um, should have set my camera back farther, but yeah. It's cute, obviously. Don't wear a blue sports bra underneath it, but yeah, it fits great. And for frame of reference, I'm typically like a 2X, sometimes 3X kind of kind of lady. I'm well endowed up top and my weight is in my stomach versus my you know, hips and stuff. So just for frame of reference. As you can see, this option is gonna pair really well with this blue sports bra. I should have waited until I did laundry, but whatever. Um, another pleasant surprise, guys. So this fits great. This is that ruching kind of top. It is longer, closer to down the cap, I think. I would consider, and I'm pretty good at sewing, I would consider actually shortening this a pinch because it kind of, I think, makes me look shorter. But for how much this dress cost, I can't complain. The material's actually really really comfy um try to pull some up here so you can see it the bottom part doesn't really stretch but the top part does so i did max out in the sizes for these two i probably should have practiced that as well i pretty much got like four x and everything because i heard that they run small um so just so you know this one i'm really sad about <laughs> but it uh did not really go to plan. Uh, maybe if I was not a triple D, um, this dress would have worked. But for frame reference, this material, no stretch. I'm really sad because I love the print, but. Oh. Yeah, um, you should all be thankful for that blue sports bra right now. But what's sad is it fits everywhere else. Um, it's a zip back, but uh, needless to say, this one is not coming out of vacation with me. Okay, this one's going much better. I was a little nervous because I took it out and this is not that much of a stretchy fabric, but the bodice area has some elastic in it. And this is so cute, you guys. Look at this. How adorbs is this? Again, I would probably get it shortened because it falls a few inches above my ankle. I don't know. I might just say F it and leave it, but this one's cute. So I know this dress isn't going to be that exciting. It's just like the white one with the daisies, but it's black. I feel like everybody needs a white and a black sundress, like it just needs to happen. But it's the same stretchy top at the top. Um, it's ruched. This doesn't stretch, but it's very roomy. 
you know, you know, everybody needs something black. You just never know. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. I know it was short and quick, but I wanted to share that with you. And I know a lot of you ask questions about where I get my clothes, where I get my bikinis. So I thought this would be fun since I'm leaving for a trip in a week. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.